push the button, an item gets dispensed into one of these pots at random. So let's go ahead and try the middle one. And it does happen to be there. And as you can see, there are no other items dispensed into the other pots. Let's do one more round. We'll put that one back. The item is dispensed at random once again. We break the middle pot. And as you can see, it's not there. Let's try this one. It's not in that one. And it's in that one. Hello, everybody. Rogue Fox here. And welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. In this Redstone Tutorial, I'll show you how to make the shell game using decorated pots. As you may know, the shell game involves three shells or three cups. In this case, three decorated pots where you hide a marble or an item underneath. You shuffle them around and then you have the other player try to guess where it's at. So I've been wanting to make this for a very long time. And finally, I figured out how to do it. Now, you may not be able to shuffle the pots around, but what you can do is hook these up to a randomizer. So let me show you how this works. We have three decorated pots. As you can see, there is nothing in any of these pots. Let me put those back down. You, as a person hosting the game, would press the button. An item gets put into one of the pots at random, and the player has to guess which pot the item is in. And of course, you can always put a little wager on this. Therefore, this would make a great little gambling machine. Now that I've briefly summarized the game, let's go ahead and play a couple rounds. Like I mentioned, at the moment, there are no items in any of the decorated pots. So we put those down. You as the host, push the button. An item gets dispensed into one of these pots at random. So let's go ahead and try the middle one. And it does happen to be there. And as you can see, there are no other items dispensed into the other pots. Let's do one more round. We'll put that one back. The item is dispensed at random once again. We break the middle pot. And as you can see, it's not there. Let's try this one. It's not in that one. And it's in that one. And surprisingly enough, the redstone for this build isn't that complicated. Now that you know how the game works, let me show you how to make it. To make the shell game, you are going to need a 7x6 area like you see here. And you will need about 8 blocks of height underneath the ground level. With that, let's take a look at our supplies. And there we go. There are all the supplies we'll need for this build. So we have seven repeaters, two comparators, four droppers, one dispenser, three observers, two hoppers, one piston, eight redstone dust, six redstone torches, one stone button, your three decorated pots, your building blocks, four glass blocks. And this part is gonna be very important, which I will go into a little more detail in just a moment but you are gonna need three shulker boxes, one with one item inside that stacks in 64. You are gonna have a second shulker box, which has a full stack in 60, and then a third shulker box that's gonna have three full stacks and 55. And then finally, you are gonna need your items to go into the dropper for your marble ball item, whatever you like to call it, that's gonna go into the dropper to play the game. To get things started, what we want to do is start in the bottom right corner. We want to come two blocks over and one, two, three blocks back. Place one, two, three, four temporary blocks like so. Get your piston. Turn around to the other side and place your piston facing in that direction towards the back of the build. Now go ahead and grab one of your building blocks. Place a building block right there. We can go ahead and get rid of the temporary blocks. Now what we want to do is grab our dropper. Place a dropper facing up right against that block, get your dispenser, and place your dispenser facing in this direction towards the piston. Now go ahead and grab your hoppers, run a hopper into the bottom dropper like so, so you can see that facing in, and then run a hopper running into that hopper like that. Go ahead and grab another building block. We wanna come underneath and place the building block right under the dropper like so. Place a temporary block right there, get an observer, Place your observer facing in this direction. So that way the red dot is on the bottom and the face is pointing up. Go ahead and remove that temporary block. Get your other observer and place the observer facing in this direction into the building block. So you can see that the arrow on the top of the observer is pointing right into it. Grab a comparator and place it on top of the observer's face like that, running out from this hopper. Now grab your glass blocks. We want to place a glass block here. Temporary block right here, glass block, glass block, and glass block on top. And then go ahead and remove that temporary block so you have a little casing like this. Go ahead and grab another building block, 
place it right against that glass block. From here, what we want to do is place a block against that top glass block. Get your last observer. Come around to this side and down. And we want to place the observer running into the dispenser like that. So you can see the arrow is pointing down into it. Now go ahead and grab your repeater. Place a repeater on the observer's face and set that to three ticks of delay. Then go ahead and place another block here and a block right here for the time being. And then redstone dust on these two blocks. Grab your stone button and we'll place it right here for the time being. That way when this is finished, I can show you how the circuit works. And now it's time to place in our shulker boxes. But let me quickly explain how this is going to work. So like I mentioned, we have a shulker box that's going to have one stackable item in it, one item that stacks in 64. So if we place the shulker box right here, again, one item, we are going to get a redstone output of one. When we go to the next box, that's going to have the 64 and 60. We place it here. That is going to give us an output of two. And just to quickly show you how this is going to work. So the reason why we have 64 and 60 is you can see it right here. The second lamp is still on. As soon as I make this 59, it's only going to have that output of one. But as soon as we make it 60, it's going to give us that output of two. And for the last one, we're going to have our third shulker box. That's going to have three stacks of 64 and 55. And when we place that down, that is going to give us an output of three. So that is why we're going to have the shulker boxes with the items that they have in there to give us an output of one, two, and three. Three. Now that you understand why we have the shulker boxes the way we do, let's go ahead and place them into the dispenser like so. So all three are going to go in. And basically what this is going to be is going to be a randomizer circuit that is using shulker boxes based on the number of items that are in the shulker boxes. And shout out to Momo Jumbo for this randomizer circuit that he put out seven years ago. So I have made a couple of tweaks and it's still working to this day. And again, thanks to Momo for this, because this is the reason why this game can work. Now that the shulker boxes are in place, I can go ahead and demonstrate the circuit. But before I do, we do need to place in a portion of the next circuit. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to place a temporary block right here, a block out, and then a block up like this. Two more blocks out. Get your comparator. Run your comparator out from that block. Grab redstone dust and place redstone dust down like this. So how this is going to work. The host of the game will push the button. That's going to dispense a shulker box at random. And to show off this, let's go ahead and place down redstone lamps, just so it is simulating this over here. So we now have an output of two. When we push this button again, this redstone is going to power this piston. That's going to break the shulker, pushing it into this hopper. Once it gets into this hopper, the comparator is going to detect that. The observer is going to detect that comparator. This observer is going to detect that observer, powering this block, which will then power this dropper pushing the shulker box back into the top. And then while all that is going on, we have this last bit up here. Once this shulker box gets back into the dispenser, the repeater will be turning off, which will then be detected by the observer here, powering the dispenser, pushing out the next shulker box. I know that was a mouthful, but let's go ahead and give this a test so you can see all of those words in action. Push the button. Shulker box breaks, goes back into the system, a new shulker box is dispensed. So now we have the shulker box giving us an output of one, output of two, and the output of three. And now it's time to finish up this circuit, and this is going to be a red coder circuit. So as you saw, we have our output of three. Now technically, if we had our droppers hooked up and we got our output of three, that would have powered all three droppers, and we don't want that. We only want one to be powered at a time. So in this case, with the output of three, we would want this dropper to be powered and none of the other ones. That is why we are going to make ourselves the red coder. To make the red coder, what we're going to do is we're going to use these as temporary blocks. I'm going to come underneath, place blocks down like this, remove these temporary blocks, grab your repeaters, run repeaters coming out from this redstone line here. Get your blocks once again, place a temporary block right here, run the repeater into blocks like this. So it looks like that. And then we're going to go ahead and place three blocks above those repeaters, like so, with redstone dust on top. Grab your repeaters once again and run repeaters coming out from the top blocks like that. We also want to make sure to set these to two ticks of delay. Next, go ahead and place another temporary block here, a block up so the top repeaters are running into blocks like so. Now go ahead and grab your redstone torches, 
come down to the bottom block where the bottom repeaters are running into. We want to place redstone torches like this. And then on these top blocks, place three more redstone torches. Right above these redstone torches, go ahead and place three more blocks. Just like that. Here is a quick side profile of the red coder circuit. So we still have an output of three, but as you can tell, we are only getting power to the third block now. So instead of all three of these being lit up, as you saw earlier, we only have power going to the end. So that's exactly what we want. And this is actually where the droppers are gonna go. Now, if I press the button, we get the shulker box at random. We're getting three again. Three again. Two. And one more press. One. And finally, the last thing we have to do is place in the droppers. And like I said, this is where the droppers go. So I'm going to go ahead and replace these lamps with droppers. Just like that. And then go ahead and place in whatever items you want to use as the marble, the ball, whatever you like to call it. Place those items into the dropper like so. And we are done. And as I've shown before, we push the button. That's going to pop out of the right side. Right side again. And the left side. And of course, all we have to do now is place down our decorated pots. And this build is finished. And the great part about this build is all the redstone goes underground. So of course, you'll want to decorate this to make your game however you want it to look. But all we have to do for this part is just remove a couple of these blocks here. Place a couple more blocks down. We'll remove that button. Redstone dust. Redstone dust there. It is not interfering, so we can get right up against it if we'd like. Block right there. And then the button. And as you saw in the original demonstration, we push the button. You're the host of the game. That's going to dispense an item into the decorated pot. And then the player has to guess which one it's in. And there you have it, everyone. That is how you make the shell game for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This is going to be the end of today's Redstone tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will... See you later.